Me, Jane, Patrick McDonald. Me, Jane, Patrick McDonald. Jane had a stuffed toy chimpanzee named Jubilee. She cherished Jubilee and took him everywhere she went. And Jane loved to be outside. She watched birds making their nests, spiders spinning their webs, and squirrels chasing one another up and down trees. Jane learned all that she could about the animals and plants she studied in her backyard and read about in books. One day, Curious Jane wondered where eggs came from. So she and Jubilee snuck into Grandma Nut's chicken coop. Hid behind some straw, stayed very still, and observed a miracle. It was a magical world full of joy and wonder, and Jane felt very much a part of it. Jane often climbed her favorite tree, which she named Beech. She would lay her cheek against its trunk and seem to feel the sap flowing beneath the bark. Jane could feel her own heart beating, beating, beating. With the wind in her hair, she read and reread the books about Tarzan of the Apes, in which another girl, also named Jane, lived in the jungles of Africa. Jane dreamed of a life in Africa, too. A life living with and helping all animals. At night, Jane would tuck Jubilee into bed, say her prayers, and fall asleep. To awake one day, to her dream come true. About Jane Goodall When Jane Goodall was ten years old, she decided that when she grew up she would go to Africa, live with the animals, and write about them. Almost everyone told her this goal was impossible. Her family had little money, and she was a girl in a time when girls were not encouraged to pursue adventurous careers. But her mother encouraged her to follow her dream. When Jane finished school, she continued to learn about Africa and worked hard to save enough money to go there. She finally arrived in 1957, met famed anthropologist Louis Leakey, and began studying chimpanzees at the Gombe Stream Game Reserve now known as the Gombe Stream National Park, in Tanzania in 1960. One of Jane's most important observations was her discovery that chimpanzees are able to make and use tools. Until this time, experts thought only humans were able to do so. But based on Jane's remarkable studies, the world was forced to rethink what makes humans different from animals. She wrote about these discoveries and countless other observations in her 1986 book, The Chimpanzees of Gombe, Patterns of Behavior. Today, Jane travels around the world raising awareness about the plight of chimpanzees and environmental conservation. Human populations are growing, the forests in Africa where chimpanzees live are being cut down, and chimps and other animals are being hunted for food. She set up the Jane Goodall Institute, JGI, an organization that helps communities near wild places grow more food, have clean water, and send children to school, while also teaching people how to protect the nearby wildlife. Jane Goodall's Roots and Shoots program has been set up to educate young people everywhere about the world's environmental and social problems and empower them to take action.
This growing organization operates in more than 120 countries and there are tens of thousands of members ranging in age from preschoolers to university students. Learn more at www.rootsandshoots.org and www.janegoodall.org.